Hi friends. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use this OptiCoupler online tester. It can detect the 4-pin plug-in type and 4-pin SMD type OptiCoupler of most minor PS use on the market, helping us troubleshoot quickly and improve repair efficiency. It consists of this module and this socket. Here's the back side. Now, let's go through the different interfaces on the module. This is the powering interface for the tester, which uses a 12 volts self-flow voltage. For example, a 12 volts adapter like this can power it. The LED1 and LED2 are signal lights. When we power it up, if the light stays on, it means everything's working fine. When we detect the optocoupler, we use LED2 for judgment. If the optocoupler is good, it'll flash. If it stays on or off, the optocoupler might be damaged. These four small holes are the interfaces for this socket. There's a white dot corresponding to pin 1. Next to it is a semicircle that matches the semicircle on the socket. Just align them like this. It is for offline testing of plug-in type optocouplers. These four pins can be soldered to optocouplers for offline detection of SMD types. Similarly, this white dot corresponds to pin 1. The principle is the same as for the plug-in type. These four pins are for online testing and can be used to detect both direct insert optocouplers and SMD optocouplers. The back side also has a white dot corresponding to pin one of the optocoupler. Next, I'll show how to use it to measure optocouplers. First, we'll take these two SMD type optocouplers as examples. Before measuring online, we need to ensure the PSU is powered off. Also, these large capacitors need to be discharged. Testing the PSU while it's powered is strictly prohibited. Additionally, clean the pins to ensure good contact between the tester and the pins. Now, let's power it up. We can see LED1 is on, indicating it's normal. During testing, their pin 1 must align correctly. The black dot on the optocoupler corresponds to pin 1. The same goes for this one. The LED2 indicator is flashing, that means this optocoupler is fine. Let's test another one. LED2 is flashing too, though faintly, but it still indicates the optocoupler is good. We continue to demonstrate the detection method of this plug-in optocoupler. We can see there's insulating glue on these pins that needs to be removed first. Then, clean it with cleaning solution. Upon testing, we find that the indicator light is on. Since there are many types of circuits surrounding the optocoupler, if the indicator stays on or off, we can first remove the optocoupler from the PSU and use a tester to measure it again to confirm whether it is good or bad. Now, let's take this optocoupler off. Alright, we removed it. Next, insert the testing seat into the tester. Then insert the optocoupler. Making sure the pins align. Power it on again. We see the light flashing, which means this optocoupler is good. Finally, in this area, it is used to detect SMD type. I will demonstrate it for you.
Again, the indicator light is flashing, indicating that it is not faulty. That's it for the various methods to use this optocoupler tester. Thanks for watching.